it's a Christmas Friday night. We're in the lobby. Uh, there's a number of things on this. We're in the lobby at Avenue HQ because there's a kids' party going on in the place where we normally film. So that's nice, uh, if we're all honest about it. Nice to see the children having a nice time. Simultaneously, we've obviously found out a couple of hours ago Liverpool won't be playing against Leeds on Boxing Day. So there's a lot of enjoying the fact that they beat Leicester, Stu, in our near future. With Leicester to come, come up next as well, it is the next game for them. There'll be elements, I think, where they'll be sort of looking forward to that. It is a shame not to have a Boxing Day game. That is the big thing. It is a shame that the, you know, you with the manager on the game on the 28th, you can see his point of view, but a Boxing Day game, it is something we can all get behind. And 12.30 against Leeds felt like one to really get stuck into. Yeah, it's an event, isn't it? Boxing Day is an event. You know, it, doesn't, it doesn't quite feel like Boxing Day if, you, if you're not going to a match or if you're not watching a match. Um, so no, no doubt I'll be... You know, I'll be tuning into something, but it just won't feel the same that Liverpool aren't playing. If you if you could have chosen one to be postponed, to be rearranged, it would have been the 28th, wouldn't it? I'm never that comfortable anyway playing someone back to back. Yeah, close together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it always and smacks up. It's going to end up a draw. Well, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's so, so there's a little bit of that, and there's also the idea of um, you know when is this game going to be rearranged? Is it going to be rearranged smack in the middle of Afcon? When we haven't got Salah and Mane and all that, so so there's it's 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 not like a Christmas gift this that this is being rearranged. Um, it's 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 quite the opposite. It's quite the opposite. But Harrison last night felt like a Christmas gift. It was one of the most fun nights I can ever remember having at Anfield. Really, genuinely, every bit of it felt like something to get stuck into, and it felt like the team. The, the, these days, because we're so lucky, the team are that good. The team often bring the crowd. Last night, it really felt like the crowd brought the team, and it's been a while since we've had one of them. It was. It, it was great, wasn't it? I think Leicester away fans were started. They didn't know. I think they annoyed us. And then Madison. Do you know what to say? I really like Madison. I like his interviews. I think he's knowledgeable about football, but he was a prick yesterday, wasn't he? And I was saying to me, mate, next to him, on the 28th of being, I was going to get him. Do you know what I mean? He's got to get him, do you know what I mean? They were all being the pantomime villain, weren't they? Casper Schmeichel was being time-wasting from minute, like, 15. Yeah. They were doing, it's league cup games, time-wasting. They were probably 2-0 up at that point. They were all just being absolute idiots, but... Yeah, I can't wait for the 28th one now. I think that I think it just it's heated it up the fixture, hasn't it? It feels like a derby. It does, it does, and it feels like we've got to get them again. I think, yeah, I'm just looking forward to Fabinho and Madison. I think Madison yesterday, he wound me up. And I, I, I don't think I'll ever forgive him. You know what I'm he's, like, he's wound me up. He put a post in on Instagram saying, unlucky result at the best atmosphere in England. Oh, that, that was quite sound. He's still a prick. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, it just clatters them in the end, John Lester. I think it is a. The atmosphere was absolutely raw. You were saying before you rewatched it on uh, rewatched the last half an hour on, on LFC TV today, and it is this is a, such a great football club in such a great moment that there are times where you know we know we're, we're just lucky to watch them sometime, and that that does ebb into the crowd a bit. And I'm not saying that as to have a go at anyone, have a go at any fans. Last night there was there was just this thing where they needed us, they got us, then we needed them, we got them. That then fed back into us, you know, there was, there was a wonderful symbiotic sort of thing going on and everyone got bang into it. Yeah, I, I think there's always in these type of games, there's a, an inciting incident or an inc- and, and, and Harrison's absolutely right. It sounded, certainly from where I was watching, that the, uh, the away fans with their lovely songs about uh, food poverty in the run-up to Christmas probably uh, got our back up. And, and obviously, uh, Fuck the Tories has become a bit of a, a home-ground staple this season, and Jamie Carragher's taking it on tour around the country. Mm-hmm. It's not Jamie yeah, Carragher. Jamie, Jamie Webster, Webster yeah. is taking it on tour around, around the country mm-hmm. recently, and I think uh, that got a good air, and that was a, a decent riposte to them last night. But I think I think the Liverpool team will have gone in at half-time, unhappy with their lot. I think when Klopp reflects on... Um, the first half, he would have thought maybe we've gone one or two players a little bit too weak, and that, they put that right in the second half. And I think with the crowd were on voice, the team were absolutely bang up for it. And I, it felt to me like it was a game that Klopp didn't care about it in the first five ten minutes. He cared about it in the second half, and, and you could feel the crowd were absolutely rabid. The mistakes, the unforced errors that, that Leicester were making in that second half, and I've got no doubt that it was a sincere by Madison. He's got, he's got a worse hairline than me, that lad. <laughs> and and, and, and it, the comments he made about the Anfield crowd, I said, he, he, he must absolutely mean it. Because you could hear it coming off the speakers of your television, how rabid they were. And, and they were carrying, carrying the team along. And the number of turnovers of play, the ball would go, would go loose. We'd, we'd, we'd try and break through, they, 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 they were reasonably well organised, but we'd get it back straight away, right. again, again, again. And, and, and I just think every time we won the ball back, the crowd would go louder and louder and louder. It just felt like... It a, was, and Joe, Jota, he loves it, doesn't he? I think he's the closest thing that we've had to Suarez since Suarez has gone. 
Uh, even when we score, we score the goal, don't we? And he's getting the ball and he's giving it to the Leicester players and he scores to win a penalty and he's giving it to their fans. And if we were professional, if we were Liverpool players, we'd... To get full access to this show, click on the link in the post and subscribe to Tour Premium. You get all of our content, including previews, reviews, post-match content, exclusive interviews and loads of transfer chats. So subscribe to the Anfield Wrap now. We share the journey of supporting Liverpool from heart of the city. Thank you.